33 early voting locations are open this week across El Paso County for voters to cast their ballot. ABC 7's Paul Schultz joins us live to explain how the county picks exactly where to put those vote centers. Hey, Paul. Well, the number of early voting locations, or rather the number of early voters, was lower this year than it has been during previous presidential elections. But for those who do want to participate during the early voting period, El Paso County officials tell me there are many factors that go into deciding where voting centers like the one behind me are located. When it comes to November 2020, yes, there's a difference of 2,000 voters, but again, there's still 12 days, so we just want to see the participation with the next days to come. According to stats from the El Paso County Elections Office, 19,431 people voted on the first day of early voting in 2016. In the 2020 election, that number dropped slightly to 19,067. Yesterday, when early voting opened for this year's election, only 17,872 people went to the polls. Voting is a privilege and something that everyone should really take quite seriously. The number of registered voters has gone up almost 100,000 people since 2016. Here are the 33 locations for early voting in El Paso County. County Judge Ricardo Samaniego wasn't available for an interview, but he did say that commissioners work with the Elections Department to find locations that are ADA accessible, close to public transportation, easy for diverse populations to access, and have ample parking, including accessible parking. Other factors include neutral locations, distribution across the county and sites that are safe and secure for voters and election workers. Voters can vote at any early voting location, same for election day. And early voting continues through November 1st. Now, if you want more information about the election and or voting centers, you can go to epcountyvotes.com. Reporting live from West El Paso, Paul Schultz, ABC7. All right, Paul, thank you.